what I usually start out with with the fill cards, I usually, these are roughly 8 by 10 and um, I'll take two of them and just put a couple pieces of tape on the back so that um, they'll, they'll stand up on their own. I won't have to use anything, uh, a, a block or anything behind them to get them to stand up. So I'm just going to slip this right in here and I'll look in my, I would need to look in my viewfinder and make sure that they're not going to be in the shot. I mean, I do see them, but I know that when I bring this image into Lightroom, I'll be able to crop everything out and you won't know they were there. So I'm going to go through exactly the same procedure that I did the first time. And I don't need to look at my, uh, my settings because I can see nothing has changed. I haven't turned the camera off. So the only thing I really need to do here is um, reset the uh, self timer, which I will do right now to two seconds. Okay. One, two. The image has been taken, and I'm going to bring this image into Lightroom. Lightroom pops up on my screen, and the import module automatically appears. And you can see in Lightroom that the image on the the left is the first one I took. It's been grayed out because it's, it's telling me that that image is already on my computer. So I just am bringing one image in and I will hit import and bring it into the develop module. And there is a feature which is kind of uh, neat about Lightroom is that I can apply the previous settings uh, from the image that I did just before this to this image and since nothing has changed uh, except for the fill cards I'm going to just hit previous and it gets automatically cropped okay so now I've applied the settings from my previous image to this image and it um, looks like I need to make it just a little tiny bit darker which I'm going to do because the fill did add light, uh, more light to the image, which the camera didn't compensate for. And um, I'm going to toggle back and forth between the two images. Now here's the first image. And if you look, you can see where my mouse is going along the bottom of the necklace here. I have some darker shadows. And if you want, and, and there's a, a change in the, um, in the white background from a very white to it's sort of getting to be a grayish color here. And by adding the fill card, which you see when I click to the second image, this has all become a very nice even white, and the jewelry has a very nice even look to it. And it just looks beautiful. 